Graph Introduction When an information is expressed through pictures, it is called a pictograph. In a pictograph, we make use of picture symbols to denote numerical data. Example 1 The table below shows the number of students enrolled in a year for class 5 in a school during a block of 5 years. Let us represent the information using a pictograph scale. Note, each symbol denotes 20 students. The number of students enrolled in the year 1994-95 to is represented by 9 symbols. The number of students enrolled in the year 1995-96 to is represented by 5.5 symbols. The number of students enrolled in the year 1996 to 97 is represented by nine and a half symbols. The number of students enrolled in the year 97 to 98 is represented by five symbols. The number of students enrolled in the year 1998 to 99 is represented by eight and a half symbols. Example two. The number of apples in each box is given. Look at the pictograph and answer the following question. How many apples are there in the box 3? The answer is 300. Which box has least number of apples? Box 5 has 150 apples. Which box has most number of apples? Box 4 has 600 apples. Bar chart, bar diagrams or bar graphs. To make things easy, we use bar graphs or bar charts. A bar chart makes comparison of the numerical data by means of parallel bars drawn vertically or horizontally with equal spacing between them. Each bar is of convenient thickness and their lengths are proportional to the data in each category. Example 3. Draw a bar chart to represent the information given in the table below. Let us now see the rules for drawing bar charts. Step 1. A suitable title is given at the top of the diagram. Step 2. A suitable scale is chosen so that the bars of suitable lengths can be drawn to represent the different magnitudes. Step 3. The space between two consecutive bars is kept uniform throughout. Step 4. The width of all the bars is kept uniform throughout. Step 5. Bars are drawn conveniently on graph papers.